Well, extreme weather conditions have been hitting Utah very hard this month, particularly over the past two days. Look at this severe flooding leading to a state of emergency in some areas. News Nation's Jordan Bordadero with our station KTVX is in Cedar City. So, Jordan, tell us how bad things are tonight. Hi, Nicole. I'm in Cedar City at South Southern Utah University, where I'm actually in one of the apartments that just got flooded after these flash floods. You can see the dirt behind me, just how high the water got. And students are now devastated as they lost most of their items. Over at an off-campus university building, students on the basement level saw water levels above their waist and many of their personal items just floating around. One student here from Australia says she lost the majority of her items, including her athletic gear food, electronics, clothing, and school supplies. Southern Utah University leaders say faculty living near campus also lost homes and have severe damage. I have nothing, nothing, pretty much. Like, it's gone. Like, you know, it's, you think like, oh, it's water, you can save it, but it's like, it was septic water. Like, you know, we lost thousands of dollars that we, it took years for us to get and it, it's just gone. University officials are working to get funding for those in need, and there is a building on campus where displaced students are welcome to stay in. There's also a shelter set up at a nearby church, courtesy of the American Red Cross. However, both the shelter and community are asking for volunteers during the cleanup process, and students say they're thankful for the community stepping up, and they're just hoping that help keeps rolling through the door. Reporting in Cedar City, back to you, Nicole. All right, Jordan, yeah, we're just really wishing those people the very best. Thank you.